Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 17th of June. The local media headlines today and time appears to be running out for Cornwall's Conservatives, at least according to the latest opinion polls. Yesterday's Servation poll suggests that Cornwall will be a Tory-free zone in less than three weeks. I'm not so sure, but it's clearly now a distinct possibility. The Reform UK candidate for Truro and Falmouth says he was assaulted while campaigning on Saturday. Meanwhile, we've been pondering what might happen if Labour does indeed win on the 4th of July. There could be big changes to local government too. Away from the campaign trail, there are red faces at County Hall over the failure to manage routine paperwork for Cornwall Council's multi-billion pound building projects. And the last time we checked, the new ferry that's planning to take passengers to the Isles of Scilly was still in Portsmouth. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and led with the news that the town could be about to test a new breed of automatic cash machine. With no banks left, the machine will allow people in St Ives to make deposits as well as withdrawals. The BBC says that even fishermen have noticed that Brexit wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Greatest Hits Radio said police are treating as murder the death of a woman at Liscard. The Falmouth Packet reports good news for the St Austell Brewery. The Cornish Times has news from the RSPCA. And it's been a while, but Cornwall Live finally has another story about Gordon Ramsay. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.